the following problems uh, show us how to add and subtract uh, polynomials. A polynomial, if you remember, is any um, sum or difference of multiple terms. Um, in this case, our terms are 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4. Now, notice we remove the parentheses because there's nothing out in front of it. However, in the second set of parentheses, um, because that's a plus, it really doesn't affect it either. So we can just remove that set of parentheses too. Now we add up things that are called like terms, which means they have the exact same variable and the exact same exponent. x cubed and x cubed, so we can add those together. So we add the coefficients. 3 plus 6 is 9. Now we look for x squared. There are no x squareds, so we can just write down negative 2x squared. And notice I'm crossing these out each time. This helps us to keep track of what we're doing. The next term to look at is the x's. There's only one x, so we can just write negative 3x. And then finally, we look for the ones without a variable. Add those together, 4 plus 3 is 7. Okay, for the next problem, the difference is we now have a negative. So this would be considered subtracting uh, polynomials versus adding polynomials. Um, and there's a couple ways to look at this subtraction. One way would be considered as having a negative 1 in front, use a distributive property. Or the other way that a lot of people like to do is just go through and change the sign of everything in the parentheses. Okay, so for the first one, there is nothing outside, so we just write it back down. Negative 4a squared plus 3a minus 7. But with that minus sign, we go to each term, and we change the sign. So the positive 5a squared becomes a negative 5a squared. The positive 2a, or negative 2a becomes a positive 2a, positive 3, and negative 3. Now, the big mistake is only to change the sign of the first one, so you need to make sure you change the sign of all three like we did. Okay, so for the a squareds, um, we have a negative 4a squared and a negative 5a squared, so we can add those together to get negative 9a squared. For the a's, we have a 3a and a 2a, so we add those together to get 5a. And then we have negative 7 and a negative 3, and so that gives us negative 10. Adding up like terms is always the last step in, in, in dealing with these problems. Get rid of the parentheses, and then you go through and you add like terms. For this last one, well, we've got to go through and figure out where are our minus signs on these parentheses. They're that, that first one and then the third one. So the first, the first parenthesis we can just rewrite. The second parenthesis we have to change the signs. Remember, minus sign means change the signs. So since we have 3z to the fourth, 5z squared, both, both positive, we go through and change the signs. Negative 3z to the fourth, negative 5z squared. The third, the third parenthesis that's got plus out front, so we just get rid of the parentheses. And then the last one, we do have a minus again, so we change the signs again, so we end up with a negative 3z squared, and then plus 4z. Now we go through and we, we want to add like terms. So uh, z to the fourth is the biggest exponent, so we add those two together. 5z to the fourth minus 3z to the fourth is 2z to the fourth. And then you have negative 2z cubed plus 3z cubed. That's all the z cubes. So negative 2 plus 3 is a positive z cubed. And then you've got negative 5z squared uh, and a negative 3z squared. And so both of those, you got a negative 5 and a negative 3. Add those together, you get a negative 8z squared. Cross those out. Now we're just looking at the z's. So we got a negative 2z, and we have a positive 4z. So add negative 2 plus 4 to get a positive 2z. And then we look for the numbers and find out that we only have um, one number that doesn't have a variable, and that's the 2, so we could just write that 2 down. So the answer is 2z to the 4th plus z cubed minus 8z squared plus 2z plus 2. Remember, when you, when you add a negative outside parenthesis, change all the signs.